Here's a thought. Don't change Salt Spring. Let Salt Spring change you. And that was on a bumper sticker seen on a ferry to guess where? <laughs> Salt Spring Island. Welcome into a brand new month and a journal I'm just hoping you enjoy as much as I did experiencing it. I told you last week Rob and I were going to Salt Spring Island. It's about a 35 minute ride from here, which is Vancouver Island, and we did enjoy it. With a population of 10 to 11,000, it's a delightful mountainous island filled with artists, crafters, farmers, and a great many people who left a faster paced life in search of one closer to nature and with far more contentment and peace. And oh, did they come to the right place. A visitor comes in search of those gifts as well on this piece of land that's only 74 square miles, 17 miles long and nine miles wide. And you know, I ticked a lot of items off my summer bucket list while here from kayaking, which I haven't done since we moved away from Ontario about five years ago, to finding a few of the ferry doors while hiking part of Mount Erskine. Now I say part because we didn't do the whole thing. Months of sitting and writing and recording and editing haven't done my stamina or my butt and legs any good this year. We took our bikes, not the e-bikes, we couldn't port them safely on the mini, but it was too hilly for this kid. We did lots of walking and convertible driving in the dusty, parched countryside though. But by far, my favorite part of our getaway to Salt Spring was our stop at one of the lavender farms that adorn the island. Now, here's a little tiny bit of that visit, something I've wanted to do for years after missing out on lavender season in other parts of the world. So come along, give it a watch, and yeah, my t-shirt's wrinkled, hashtag travel. Here we go. It is a gorgeous day here on Salt Spring Island, and we're at a lavender farm called Lavender and Black. And here they harvest English lavender, French lavender, and a yellow flower that is a distant relative to the sunflower called Immortelle. And it has healing properties. And it's just very calming and beautiful here. This is on the north part of Salt Spring Island. And we're just we're gonna buy some balm and some diffusers and some oil and probably <laughs> some lavender ice cream. But just take a look. It's absolutely oh, inspiring. No one more perfectly embodies getting away from the rat race than Awatyev and Ben, the couple who founded Lavender and Black after having worked in healthcare and engineering respectively. Established in 2016, some 4,000 lavender and immortelle plants have been nurtured and harvested since then. There is a self-guided tour of the farm and its contemporary studio, essential oil distillery, greenhouse facility, and of course a shop where you can buy the fruits of their labors. Oh, they're out on display and you just go along and smell, you know, socially distanced and watching what you're touching and that sort of thing. I picked up a summer lavender diffuser oil and reeds for us and an Immortelle lavender balm for Rob's shoulders and it smells just gorgeous. Immortelle is related to the sunflower. It's what yellow that you're seeing and boasts several healing properties. Its botanical name is Helichrysum. I was delighted to taste some creamy and lovely lavender ice cream too. I mean, have you ever known me to pass up ice cream? Really? <laughs> it was lovely. Now they do ship their products, um, not the ice cream, but you can check out their website at lavenderandblack.ca. I'm just so glad that I went and I so recommend a visit to you. In fact, I think I'm going back later this month when I visit Salt Spring again with a friend who is hopefully coming to see us. I'm going to leave you with this shot and a toast to the beauties that Canada has to offer from coast to coast to coast. Now, I know the pandemic has had very few pluses, but one of them has been forcing us to explore our own treasures. Here's to you, Salt Spring. Yeah, that's fruit juice. And I'll be back not on Thursday this week, but Friday with a special goodbye to a friend who's taking a huge step that day. Talk to you then.